Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Viola and I'm going to do a bit of a catch up video but I thought to make it a bit more interesting I'd go ahead and do my everyday makeup as we're just having a chat. Um, so to start off I'm going to, so this is like an autumn, my autumn everyday makeup I guess. Um, so as it's autumn kind of I don't know if you're like me my skin gets a lot drier when it's colder outside so I really need to make sure to moisturize my skin on my lips I'll use the Palmer's cocoa butter formula chapstick I do use other ones like Carmex and stuff like that but I find sometimes that Palmer's is quite good because you don't feel the need to keep reapplying it at the moment I'm using the simple light moisturising cream and I'll also use a bit of strobe cream. So um, as a lot of you might know I'm not super young, I do use eye cream, I'm 28 now, um, I turned 28 in July and as a bit of a recap, it's been quite a busy year for me, so I've been working in my current job for a few years now. I started off being freelance, I'm a journalist and I work for London Live, which is a local TV station here in London. And I do all sorts of things there, I do on camera stuff, so I do interviews and things like that, but I also do a lot of filming and video editing and also just general program production um, things for them too. So it's been a busy year at work. I've started doing more reporting. I know that some people um, told me that they saw me doing the London Live Carnival program so I've been doing live reporting. It was a two-hour program each day from Carnival so really intense and I guess that's why I haven't had as much time to make my own content and my own videos because I literally every day, well not every single day, but most days I go to work, I get into the office and then I go out with the camera, I go filming, I do interviews and then I edit and so when I come home I don't feel like doing the same thing again, which is quite nice because obviously I'm, I studied journalism, well I did an undergraduate in television and new broadcasting media with politics and then I did a master's in television journalism so it's nice to be able to be working in the field that I, I studied. Um, so for my foundation at the moment I'm using the Studio Fix Fluid um, foundation in NC42. I used to use Mineralize but I don't know why, I think they've changed the formula, the bottle's changed and the colour just doesn't match quite as well and because it's winter as well I'm going to go ahead and use this because I really I really like it. It's more coverage and obviously the mineralized is thinner so it's nice in the summer if you do get hot and oily and stuff but in the winter this is going to be perfect. And I either use a beauty blender or recently I've been using a buffing brush. My sister, also bit of a recap, my sister's getting married um, and she's asked me to do her wedding makeup which is a huge responsibility and obviously I am not a professional makeup artist I'm not the I'm not the best at makeup I know how to do my own makeup sometimes when I do it on camera it doesn't go quite right but um, it's a big responsibility and I'm really looking forward to it and we've had quite a lot of practices and she likes how the brush turns out so I've just been using the brush more on myself just so that I can kind of get used to the motion, the buffing motion and stuff that I need to use for when I'm going to be doing hers. And also when you do makeup um, kind of for that real professional result you have to do it in a different order than you might do your own makeup. So for professional makeup or especially like wedding makeup, you definitely have to do the eye makeup first just to make sure that any fallout or anything like that, you can wipe that all off before you go ahead and apply the foundation just so that it won't become muddy. So I have been looking into it a bit and I am looking forward to it. 
Um, so apart from work and kind of my sister's wedding, which I've been, I haven't been helping organize the wedding at all, but there's me and one other bridesmaid. So I'm just a bridesmaid and there is a maid of honor and we were organizing my sister's hen party together. So in the, I don't know if this is the same every, everywhere, but obviously in, um, in the UK, you have a hen party before the wedding. Traditionally, it used to be quite just a few days before the wedding, but the same with the stag do. So when the guys and the whole groomsmen, they all go out and celebrate the fact that this guy is getting married and with the women, you all go out and celebrate that this woman is getting married. But in recent times, more and more people have decided to have their hen parties kind of weeks and even months before their wedding just to make sure that they have enough time to recuperate um, make sure that you know if you go out and you're eating crazy foods and you're partying and all that kind of thing you don't want to have like a breakout or like anything like that that's a result of it living your best life on your hen party you kind of want to have that time to really relax after that so I'm going to use my concealer. I'm using the new um, formula. The, the. So I'm going to go ahead and use my concealer. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix um, concealer. It's This is a new product. It's either a new product or new packaging. And I'm NC40 for this. And I go ahead and apply this quite generously in my under eye area, a little bit down my nose, a bit on my forehead. And I'm gonna use the Beauty Blender just to blend this in. And then I kinda, I kinda let it sit there. I don't kinda blend it out quickly. I let it kinda like sit on there. So, um, yeah, work's been good. Obviously, I got my wardrobes done. I got a new bed. There's like a few things that have been going on around the house that have been quite good. But we're meant to be getting a a garden room. So a room outside, or obviously outside in the garden. Um, and until that's done, things are kind of paused for kind of what I feel like I can get done around the house because that's going to change the dynamic of the house quite a lot in terms of the computer and like work kind of aspect like those kind of things will be able to be moved out there and that will just free up quite a lot of room because I live in just a two bedroom house now like before I've lived in really big quite open spaces whereas now where I live is quite small in comparison so we I have a lot of big furniture and things that just don't quite fit oh one sec the door absolutely forgot what I was saying but I to contour I've been using the studio fix concealer in a darker shade so this is in NC 55 the other contours that I was using I completely ran out of so I bought this and I don't know, because it is a concealer as opposed to the other contour products they had. It's harder to, it's harder to buff it out, but it does give a really nice, it's a really nice color. Very, very warm. It is winter now, so my skin is starting to look onto the, on the paler side. So it's nice to be able to warm it up. And obviously on the sponge, I've just got a bit of that concealer left. So I just use, I just blend the two together until it looks nice. And the rest of that contour shade just left on the this brush, which is a, a flathead kind of stippling brush. I'll just buff that into my eye crease. Now I'm going to move on to doing my 
eyebrows. So depending on your eye shape, like I always thought that I could just wear the darker corners in the crease, but because I have quite large eyes, I can deal with having a dark color kind of closer to my closer to my lash line to shut my eyes down a bit, if that makes sense. But if you have really small eyes, you might not want to do this. You might want to use the colors in a different way. So then I used a tiny, tiny brush to put some of that along my bottom lash line, the darker color, and then I'll just smoke that out a bit. And hopefully you can see there. So that is both eyes done. Now I'm gonna jump around, I'm a bit all over the place here, but I'm gonna apply some highlight. This is used so much, it's, I can't even see the name. This is from Max, I think it's Goldite or something like that. Anyway, there's hardly any left, so I'm gonna have to move on from this one soon. And I'll apply that kind of all under my eye, you, like just dab it underneath my eye and then I put loads on, on my normal highlight places. I highlight my nose, I really like it. Some people really hate it. And then I also use that same highlight shade to highlight my inner corners of my eyes. So the other thing to update you on is my hair. My hair is like loving life at the moment. Um, I'll have to show you properly at the end. Um, but yeah, my hair's kind of super long. It's looking like quite thick and nice right now. The underneath's are all kind of grown out from that time quite a while ago now that I dyed it and it broke and then years have gone by now so it's been able to all grow back. It's all one colour. I was so tempted to dye it in the summer but luckily I set reminders in place for myself so that I knew not to do that. I'm just going to go back in with a bit of this um, this Mischief Minx palette from Matt with this kind of bronzy shade that's kind of really shimmery. I'm just going to add some extra-ness to my face. This is like a brown shimmeriness. Just to be like, when I'm wanting to be, you know, a bit extra. And then recently I've been liking this a lot. This is the Bobbi Brown Pretty Powerful. This is a rouge for your lips and cheeks. So I just have put a bit of that on my cheeks. It is winter, it's kind of, well I like to be a bit rosy and it's a, kind of brings a nice dewiness as well. So there we go, nearly done. Um, yeah, so my hair, it was relaxed I think about four weeks ago and um, it's kind of due to be washed quite soon but because the weather has because it's winter it's quite cold um, the air is quite dry although it can be rainy at times and I make sure to wrap up and um, hide my hair from the rain it's actually quite dry there's no humidity in the air and um, and also I'm not sweating or anything like that so my hair doesn't actually even look that dirty even though it is dirty which is nice it kind of takes the pressure off so if you're like me and you're not an expert when it comes to applying your makeup you might notice that after you put on your mascara you have like a few dots or anything like that if you have used a dark eye colour then go back in with that eyeshadow brush and just buff over those marks and they should come right off like I'm not an expert at doing my makeup but it's nice that whilst you're still sitting there you can fix these little things that might not be quite perfect so at the moment I've been really loving this lipstick 
and this is the Well Bred Brown Lip Tensity Lipstick from MAC. It's a really good autumnal colour. It's kind of like a pink but on the brown side. And I just apply this straight to my lips. This is what I do pretty much every single day. If I am if I am going for like a big night out, then sometimes I use a lip liner. But in general, when I'm going to work, like on a daily basis, this is how I apply it. And I'm really generous with it. And then, and then after I've done that, I kind of like assess my face. And I'm like, what else could I do? I normally end up going back in with another few dots of concealer, as you can see. And then I blend those out. just to really highlight my under eye. Then, what's happy with that, I might go ahead and use more highlights. So I've got the Huda Beauty 3D highlighting kit and I'll use like Fiji and Tahiti and a fan brush. I do like Seychelles, but I've broken it. So, you just have to go with what you have. So now I'm super highlighted too. Then, I think, just because I will use some of my Charlotte Tilbury eye stick. This is, I've forgotten which colour this is. Anyway, it's the dark, darkish one. It's the one that said it's good that for green eyes. And I'll use this in my waterline. So in terms of my hair, well today, I haven't put anything, any products in it. All I've done is brush it with a brush and kind of zhuzhed it and put on these cat ears because I thought it'd be nice when I'm doing this kind of autumnal catch up and um, my autumn kind of basic makeup routine that I would kind of have a bit of a theme in there too. Um, I always finish off my makeup with some setting spray. This is the all nighter setting spray by Urban Decay. And I think it really does up your makeup game. Finish, I remembered I forgot one thing and this is the Benefit Give Me Brow. Just to add to my brows, just so that they stay in place all day. I don't do my makeup like this for work every day, but when I'm doing like on camera stuff, quite often I'll do this same routine, but maybe not so much on the eyes or something like that. But I do the same like base makeup routine, not so much highlight either because it's not great for being on um, on like a news broadcast camera like that kind of thing. Um, but honestly, this makeup lasts like all day long like 10 hours it's really good once you put on all the different layers it really does make it last and that's the reason why you do it if you have oilier skin obviously I you I didn't use any powder to set my whole face I only set my contour because my skin is it's normal but normal to dry if that makes sense so I don't need to add loads of powders in terms of setting my face in the winter in the summer it does help. Okay, and just to continue my hair update, look, it goes all the way down to here these days. And I've been using all kind of the same products that I used to use. It's just that my hair has grown. My hair really likes the summer. Um, 
not the way that it gets treated in the summer but I don't know it just grows when it's sunny and so I've got loads of it and I haven't cut it recently not that recently now so next time I go to the salon I will be getting a trim but until then I'll be enjoying my long hair thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this catch up and if you want to know any of the products please let me know because like I won't necessarily list them all below but maybe I'll put some of the key products that I like like my lip colour and stuff like that um thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video